Hello, I am talking about for technicalcool.net. In that case, we're gonna learn about how can we create our fuzzy logic set and use it in the simulink and operations by using MATLAB. So that's why that is our problem and typing problem. Giving two sets uh, of number of between 0 and 10. Whereas 10 is excellent that respect the represented the quality of the service and the quality of the food at the restaurant. What should the type be? So we intend to go to the restaurant. So we're gonna examine the um, service and food. After that, we can decide that the tip to give the restaurant. So that's why we are creating our fuzzy set on that. Okay. So let's turn back to MATLAB. So in that case, and if you intend to reach the fuzzy set, you just need to type fuzzy in command window. And after that, you need to push the enter button. So you can see the, and that's view. So in that case, I intend to use the file after that I can use the sorry edit and add variables and input in that case I created two inputs so that one gonna be service and that one gonna be food of course so that's why I am writing and the name format and service that one can be food okay of course, the, this is our output. I'm going to write here type. So that's it. I created my two input and one output. OK, after that, I can use the file and export and use the to file perspective to save my file. So in that case, I can use that one food services maybe I can write two in it food services two okay after that you can see the, that name on that section okay that is quite important Artic saving your file I'm gonna click on the service input I can see the, that kind of stuff after that I can use edit and remove all MFC file like this. After that, I can use edit add MFC. While I am adding that, I need to select my type. My type can be that one. In that case, I can use the tree for that like this. Of course, in that case, I need to fill in the and uh, some uh, member value on that that one can be poor i mean the service is quite poor that one can be good that one can be excellent sorry that one can be excellent okay in that case you can see this zero to one I intend to extend that part zero, sorry, zero to 10, like this. That can be zero to 10, that one also zero to 10, that one also zero to 10. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna write here for poor, it can start with one and one, Point five, and of course that one can be zero like this I'm gonna click on good so that one can be one to five there is some point here and five yes that's okay that one for excellent I can use Again, 1.5 with 10 again. 
so that's it I created my service section so of course it is time to focus on food side I'm gonna click edit and remove all MFC after that I'm gonna add some MFC in it okay in that case I can use Trump MV with two so after that you need to be careful about that I turn back to service again I'm gonna click MF section and in that case I can write the name like this about food and maybe I can write delicious okay in that case of course my range can be 0 to 10 so that's why I can organize it and starting 0 and 0 1 and 3 okay that's my parameters that can be maybe 7 and 8 and 10 I need another 10 okay so I organize it like this okay in that case of course I need to turn back to tip edit remove all MFC and add MFC trim F and V3 okay that's gonna be our tip so I turn back to the tip section so in that case maybe I can write and 0 to 30 SMI range okay after that I'm gonna click on that that can be cheap and my parameter can be 0 and 5 and 10 okay I'm gonna turn back that one that can be average maybe my parameters can be 10 15 and 20 okay that is the last one maybe I can organize it generous okay maybe my parameters can be 20 25 and 30 okay I think that's enough okay it is time to close that part mm -hmm. after that I'm gonna create my rules so that's why I am double clicking on that part so I can see the my perspective so in that case I can select service is poor and food is that one so I can easily say that and my type is cheap okay of course with or options okay I'm gonna use add rule in that case I can select if service good and that one is none none is also and uh, some properties I can add average with add rule after that I can use service is excellent or and food delicious after that I can use of, of course generous I'm gonna click on that one so I created my rules like this okay in that case I can click on view and rules 
I can see my rules like this. If I am changing my service section, I can see that how much money I need to pay for tip. If I am changing that one, I can also see the my tip section like this. Okay. If you intend to use the surface, you can click on that one. You can see the like this X, Y and Z axis as a tip section. Okay. After that, I can click on that one, close it. After that, I can turn back to file, export to file. I'm going to save my file like this. Okay. It is time to talk about the simulink. I'm going to type in simulink here. Okay, this is Simulink. That is my library. I'm gonna click on that one to create new model. Okay, that is my empty page. Okay, maybe in that case I can open my old file like this. For example, let me show you my fuzzy service. Yes, can you see that? That one. Okay, and as you can see that I created two constant. I am using the fuzzy logic control with rule wheel and I also use the display section. Okay. Okay, let's turn back to new section and organize that how can I create that kind of perspective I'm gonna click on the new model I can use the my library as you can see that I need to turn back to commonly used blocks I'm gonna drag my constant to constant and after that I can use that one max okay after that i can use and display section okay search one okay that one i'm gonna use that one after that i'm gonna connect sorry and delete it I'm gonna connect that one to that one after that of course in that case I need to use the fuzzy set that's my tool toolbox I'm gonna drag that one okay I'm gonna use sorry I'm gonna use that one okay that one so that's it in that case maybe it will be better for us to check out our fuzzy set and maybe I can use 0 to 10 so maybe I can write 5 for that and 8 for that one of course I'm gonna double click on that one to change the name so that's my file name it can be food service to apply and okay okay it's ready after that I just need to push the run button to see what's happening okay I'm getting some error see that okay I need to change my name maybe like this apply and that one yes okay maybe I need to save my file after that I can 
use it again that one okay i'm getting some error again use that one boot service okay i also need to save that part to my work space after that double click on that one and push it again okay i see the my output like this okay it's the same as and while i am uh, clicking on that one where and rules is the same okay i can click on that one and that one that one and that one but that can also gonna help me to see the different perspective by using the simulink and fuzzy set like this okay you can uh, draw any technical and perspective in it and by using the fuzzy set you can use the input and and output you can see the answer it okay for example if i am selecting one after that pushing that button again i can see the answer it service is one food is eight uh, i need to pay that money okay that is a little example for about the fuzzy set and simulating operations so thank you very much